Welcome back to round two of Bean Comments. We have Jimmy. Oh wait, Jimmy, we're very sorry you couldn't be here today. We understand that you offended a lot of people and everybody's really hurt by the thing you had to say, calling them all yard breathers. Back for mean comments revision two. This is what it's revision called. Two. Mean comments. Mean comments. Revision number two. two. Revision number two. Mark two. I like it. Yep. Um, Jimmy could no longer be with us. He was crawling in his hole. He was very upset with all the backlash of calling everybody yard breathers. So we, I we, I heard we picked up somebody that uh, has a little bit thicker skin. I, <laughs> Very thick skin and a few extra pounds, so the comments will fly in for sure. However, I heard Jimmy just couldn't take the heat, man. He ran like hell. That's what I heard. Jimmy, come on, buddy. So I'm Jeremy. I'm with National Fire Radio. Uh, I happen to know this guy uh, for many, many years, and I do call him a friend. And, uh, and so I, was, uh, I, I had a great laugh. If you didn't see the first segment of mean comments, it was freaking hysterical. Absolutely hysterical. Got to have um, fun. And so I laughed, man. When I saw that for the first time, I busted out laughing, and I called you right away. And I was like, I want in on this. I want to do it with ours, man. We have thousands and thousands of comments that come in on National Fire Radio's page. Right. And so many people think that their opinion matters to begin with. But secondly, they think that their opinion is smart, and it's f***ing hilarious. Right. It's absolutely hilarious to believe that these are serious comments. Right. It's wild. People are just in their own world half the time and just, they don't even know. We should say that we're sitting in the shop. It's probably about 137 degrees today. Yep. It's you like give the, me beer that is slowly warming. Well, that's why it's in the fridge. Schwitzing all over. Why don't we just start with this, right? You guys were putting out a lot of content on that Tesla. Right. Right. And man, do people chew that stuff up, right? Electric anything right now. You know, everybody who has an electric drill at home and electric this and electric that. But as soon as you put it in a vehicle or make it a fire truck or a police car or a chief's vehicle, command staff, people lose their freaking minds. It's different. It's, it's different, but how could it last? It's not going to last. It will never last. It's battery. So, I mean, listen, junior police sergeant, he wants to know flat out. As a police officer, I'll cry if my department gets these. I'll miss my old police cars. I'm sure you will. Long live the Crown Vic. <laughs> well, if, you're, if you actually drove a Crown Vic being the junior police sergeant, <laughs> then uh, <laughs> I don't think you'd be the junior police sergeant. But listen, you can't replace the entire fleet because Gavin says flat out in the comments, you can't replace the entire fleet with electric vehicles. You wouldn't replace your entire fleet to begin with. That, it doesn't make financial sense. Exactly, I freaking love this. Let's take it further. I'm sure you paid 50,000 to Tesla for those wiring diagrams, right? No, they didn't charge me. What's the big deal? This is your profession. Right. Talk about it. They want, they want us to work on the cars. It's very simple. You have to be a professional in order to get professional responses. <laughs> Being professional. Right. Would you say this is professional? No, this is by no. far professional. <laughs> but we don't send this, this to companies. This is why it's after 5 o'clock. Mm. It's, it's late. It's, it's, it's 10 to 5 late night. That's it, late night. <laughs> At 5 o'clock. Cue the music. Everybody's home. Cue the music. <laughs> do, 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 do. The cleanup music. Do, 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 do. People against the Tesla have smooth brains. What does that mean? Um, don't know. Huge G reaction. Uh, I think he spelled erection wrong. I think oh, it was oh, supposed it, to be huge, oh, right. oh, huge oh, erection. Oh, oh. So he was getting excited by the Tesla. Unless this is the guy's true name, and then in that case, yeah. sorry, pal, but you might want to change that. Tesla made me puke. At least you didn't make him puke. At least he didn't I say, mean, like, sure. Ryan, right. yeah, you, make me, you make me sick. I try to read all of them, but 
You, it's so hard to read all the comments. We're gonna hop in some mean comments that are a little personal. Personal. Oh. These, uh, these. They hurt. I know. So it, from, I feel it already. I feel it. From episode right one here. of mean comments, you and Jimmy, yep. who um, I'm replacing today. Replaced. Uh, because he just couldn't hack the comments. He crumbled. Couldn't. St couldn't Poor handle guy. it. A little pressure was on. You, you guys. He, he was calling you out and. He couldn't handle the pressure. The pressure, like you guys were, you hurt his feelings, and he's very sensitive, because that's what happens. Like, the, all the comments really got to his soul. His soul. His soul. Just deep they down inside. He was so sorry that he couldn't even apologize for offending the people of the internet. People of the internet, their opinions matter. So a couple of things were said during that interview that prompted some feedback. Okay. Calling folks yard breathers, but couldn't fit an SCBA around your gut. If I remember correctly, there was a clip. All right, more from the keyboard oh, warriors it, it, and yard breathers. Yard breather. Yard breathers, because that's definitely what you guys are with all the keyboard sh You and Jimmy called people yard breathers, and they're coming right back at you. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Uh... I mean, I can still wear a pack. I wore one a couple weeks ago. Mm. It fit, no mm. problems. Everything was, you know, good. Man calling other people yard breathers with a five o'clock shadow. What? Unshaven? <laughs> it could also be the fact that we're not currently or actively fighting fires as we speak. Right, we're making, we're making assumptions I'm currently as much as everybody else is I'm currently assumption. drinking a beer. <clears throat> correct. Smoking a cigar. But too often people get wrapped up that what they see is reality. If if I'm unshaven, maybe I'm not on the fire truck today. I'm right. having alcohol. I'm smoking a cigar. I'm schwitzing in your shop. I know, I'm schwitzing too. I'm not going to fires today. Would it be okay to have facial hair? Correct. Hmm. It would be. You have been proven wrong. Sir. Proven wrong. You're proven wrong. wrong. No feds allowed says looking like that. I don't know how you can roast anyone. I think what he's saying is he didn't care for how you look. Mm, maybe he's a, he is judging me by the outside person that I am. And maybe. not the inside of what I am. Just for the record, I will go on record with this. For all the years that I've known you, your inside is as ugly as your outside. <laughs> <laughs> that is just fact. You guys suck, you're lying. Are you 1075 electric vehicles? We'll be whatever you want, baby. Whatever you want, baby. Is that your pillow talk? Is that, is that yeah, Ryan's baby. sweet talk right there? Just, it's gotta be smooth. You got me. I almost <laughs> slid right off my chair. That was so delicious. Whatever you want, baby. Oh. Blake wants to know if you'll father him. Can you father me? I mean, you get state, you get tax credits for that, right? Fathering people? You sure do. It depends on his age. Let me, let me just go one step further with that. 1075 responded to right. him. You guys are engaging oh, yeah. your followers. We want everybody media. to be engaged. We want, we want you know, the warm, fuzzy feeling that we actually care about. And he says, say. you guys say to Blake, <sighs> send in an application. So my question is for everybody watching, do you have an application online to become your child? Go. Sure. I want to send in an application. I want to be Ryan's child. What's on that application? Top three things, go. Probably, can you spell? Because I can't. So we need somebody to proofread. So that would be like, you know. Can you spell? Can you spell? That's, one of, spell that's, one, of the, that's one of the top criteria. I would say. We need somebody a, to interject you already exist, DNA so into that bloodstream and be I, like. I want to know how many zeros are in your savings account. That would be the first one. Why? You want me to adopt you, what do you bring to the table for me? Yeah, Be selfish in this conversation. Selfish, yeah. Selfish. Spelling. Yeah. Spelling. That. Computers do that. I can't spell for shit. Well, maybe that's important to you then. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah you hurt my feelings. I'm going to go cry for two hours. Oh. Give me a two hour break. I keep forgetting Caught. you made out of glass and cheeseburgers. So, top three right. things. Spelling. Spelling. How about can work you, ethic. Can you retrieve a bottle of... Yeah, it's, it's like when I, tra I train the dogs. Can you roll beer cigars? Me. Beer me. Roll cigars, beer, yeah, go. Fridge, the, the go. Important mm -hmm. things. Yeah. I get it. You work long hours, you love this job, and I've watched you take this business from working out of a trailer for the most part uh -huh. 
to a mega shop with a lot of employees and a lot of responsibility moving a lot of product. So this one gentleman is concerned about that because he says, you look tired. Go take a nap and don't wake up. Do you feel like you need an eternal nap? No. No. You still no, got some I'm years tired. left in you? I'm tired. Yeah. Got some years You're left tired. in you? You're tired too, right? You get, you get worn oh, out. I feel great. I mean, this is, oh, yeah. I mean, this is, this, this is, is a full-time job to right. feel good. Yeah, I never get tired. Yeah, bullshit. This gentleman wants to know where your neck is. Where is your neck? My neck is in between here and here. Yeah. So the, I, I gather, I'm very a very large man. So, I, I don't think you're very large. I think no, you're, uh, I'm, you're I'm husky, 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 big, big the bone. The ladies like it. Not the lit. The ladies like it. The ladies like it. Like, it's dad bod. I'm going to be a dad. Dad like bod. two dad bods. Marcos wants you to see a chiropractor. So if I can preface that, that means he sees your neck. He knows you have a neck. Marcos knows you have a neck. Okay. Where Nicholas didn't. But you do have a neck because he wants you to go to the chiropractor. Well, what does a chiropractor do? Like, do you go to a chiropractor regularly? I mean, you know, one could say that, no, I've never no. been to one in my life. I know some people live or die by it, I guess literally. Live Others or say that live or die by chiropractors, the it's snake oil. What do you think of that? Snake oil is a matter of what you're looking at it. Mm. So if you want somebody just to slap the shit on with mayonnaise and throw you on the griddle and call you dead. Slap the shit with mayonnaise, throw it on a grill and call it dead? Is that what you just said? Yes. I don't... I, yeah, okay. This one, I think, requires <clears throat> some emotion behind it. Okay. For f sake, finally someone that actually uses Heat shrimp, heap, heat shrimp. We're gonna start over. <laughs> For f sake, finally someone that actually uses heat shrink crimps. What the f are heat shrink crimps? They're complaining about people that put crimps that don't on the wires, that you don't heat them up, and then the insulation goes out over the wire. Do you use your sister's hair dryer for that? <clears throat> no. We have, How do you that's, eat them? That's how we buy them. Fuego? Do you we, use fire? We, we buy 3M branded heat shrink connector. So it's not your, you know, it's not your, it's not your, it's not your sister's heat It's not shrink. your sister's heat shrink. You're not no. going to Amazon buying this. It's not like you bought the, the brand name stuff. The brand name's coming right in here and then they're coming right in there as you pay for it. You know what I, you know what I thoroughly <laughs> enjoy when I talk to you? I have no idea what the f you're talking about right now. So that's incredible. On today's episode of Unsolved Mysteries, we discover how many chins Ryan truly has. Stay tuned. Hold on. It's two? I think two. Two? Two. 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 Right? You want, like, I think can you see more than two? I think like, it's two. Like, I, I get I'm fat. Like, I'm working on, like, in, in like progress. Like, like, I can sit here like this, like, oh, okay, like, there's, like, one chin, neck. This is getting ugly. You're just spiraling out of control right now. Do you know that? Yep. Okay, nice, but it's illegal. So this must be referring to a post you made. Okay, nice, but it's illegal. Only police are supposed to have red and blue lights. Blue alone is for fire department. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe I am, exclamation point. He is pretty firm in his stance on that. Before you answer, yep. you guys did reply to him. It's New Jersey, get over yourself. Mm. This is amazing. I love when companies come back at people mm -hmm. and, and give that dig right back, because right. I enjoy that. And for you guys to do that, it's fun. You all turn every nice car into a shitty car. That's what he says. Fuck you. Do you make shitty cars? Not on a regular basis. No. No. Not on a regular basis? Not on a regular basis. Like, like you want us to do something we don't want to do, like, no. The customer drives the build, no? Right. 
that you, you want us to do this, like mile to wild, put the lights in it. Do you have do you have a trademark on that comment? That's like a OG like I live a, pimp your car. I would think if anything, it's for like chicken wings. I like chicken wings. You all just got $20 LED lights and super glued them to the car. Is upfitting vehicles that simple? We just super glue LED lights to the car? You can either go and super glue the car. Hold on. Are you having a stroke? No. <clears throat> Guys, get the phone. We might have to call 911. You buy the product and the quality is there. Like. You, what you buy and get what you pay for is two different things. Like, you don't go to a restaurant and be like, hey, give me the duck that's been on the um, in Hook? the refrigerator for two weeks. Give me the fresh one. The duck lives in the refrigerator? Yeah, the duck. You know, it's like. Right, right. That duck. Yeah, right, that duck. Right. Yeah. In, the, in the fridge for two give, weeks. Yeah. Right. Give, me, give me the cheap shit, but I want. And quality. So, you. This is <laughs> this is up. This uh, is one of the most amazing conversations I've had with you. So what you're saying is, you listen. don't super glue lights to vehicles. You buy duck that is fresh. That's what you're telling me. Glue it on. Slap it on. Slap your mom. Just like. Send on its way. Fellas, glue it on. Slap your mom, it needs to be a bumper sticker. So my man, a lot of people are gonna be wondering like why you put yourself out there like this. Yep. Right? You guys aren't a influencer page or a, a personality, if you will, on social media, but you kind of are, right? With your company. Correct. You do videos okay. because you see the value in talking about your product and uh -huh. educating people about what you guys do. And with that obviously comes the hate. Criticism? Criticism. Yep. Absolutely, mean right? Com mean comments? Mean comments. And that's why we're doing this. So why are we doing this? Because most people wouldn't put themselves through this, let alone have fun with it. We're not afraid of anything. So, you know, you guys want to have fun? We're having fun. I'm having more fun than probably you had sitting there typing mean comments away. There's nothing you're going to say that's going to hurt us. Like, we are constantly trying to improve on what we're doing. We've been doing this for almost 18 years. Yep. The fact that we can still walk out and say, what can we do to improve on what we're doing is a sign that we're not complacent. I get it. What I've seen from this shop, starting from a trailer to a one bay garage to the facility you now operate today. Correct. You guys have come so far in a short amount of time and have I don't want to say disrupted the market, but right. you've certainly upended the market in regards to marketing, advertising, mm -hmm. talking about your product, but also you guys innovate. You guys right. create new products and make the build better. I have seen just with our apparatus innovations with National Fire Radio, I have seen a lot of hack jobs along the way. And I can say that being here with you guys and watching the work that you do between the cabinet builds and the installs on the upfitting with lights and, and everything else. This is a top shelf shop. And I think that's why we're sitting here today because you need to blow off some steam and have some fun right. too. You can't get caught up in the craziness of running a business, employing people and forgetting to have fun along the way. And that's yeah. what this is all about. It is a full solution provider. You guys are from right. design to execution, it's what you do. But with all of that said, that's a business and it's serious. Right. But every once in a while you gotta have some fun. Oh, and we're having fun tonight. Like, and that's what we're doing. Right. So listen, thank you for having me here. Thank you for making me a part of this. You are a dear friend of mine. You've been a friend of mine for a very long time, personally, outside of your company and National Fire Radio. I've known you a very long time and I consider you one of my dearest friends. So thanks for having me tonight during this debauchery. And I promise you this, a company that will let their hair down, be authentic and to share some funny stories and also entertain the nonsense that we deal with on social media, there's something about that. And, uh, and I think that you guys are doing it right. And uh, thanks for having me tonight, pal. I appreciate it. Love appreciate you. you. You love me? I love you. He loves me. To the end of the earth.
And on that, we're out of here, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Ryan Dodd, 1075 Emergency Vehicles. vehicles. Jeremy, National Fire Radio. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.